Hello, this is the SharePoint search button template at sharepoint-boards.com. And this template allows you to add a button into your SharePoint list, which when clicked will search a list, library, or the SharePoint site for the text in a reference field. So the idea is in your SharePoint list, you can reference. So in my case, I've got a title field that has the names of projects. You might have a field that has customers, for example, and by clicking on this button, it will just go ahead and do a search for any other list records or files or anything in the site that has that same name. So in order to use this template, you're going to need to indicate um, where you're going to direct the search to. So you can choose either list, library, or site. You could search within the same list or you can reference to another list or library outside of the one that you're in, or as I mentioned, you can do the site. So in my case, I'll just go ahead and demonstrate using the list search option. You do need to create a placeholder field, which I've already done, and you can call that search. That's where your button is gonna be set up. You do that by creating a calculated field as a placeholder, and you can just have it um, have the word search there. That's going to be replaced. Okay, so in here, I need to tell the template which field text is going to be used for the search. So I'm going to use the text that's in the title field, and then I'm going to indicate in which list I want it to search. In my case, I want it to search in this same list. So I'm going to use uh, training. That's the name of my list. So I just type that in there and I'm gonna do a list search type and that's it. That's everything I need in order to um, apply this template. So I'm gonna click the copy template, come back over to SharePoint, go to the column header, column settings, format this column, advanced, select all, paste and save. Okay, so now I've got a search button on each row it's going to search this list. You can imagine in some lists you have thousands of records, and so you may want to find other matching records. So I can just type search, and it's going to use the value in the title field, which was Cherry's project, and it found all records with this. In the case of my list, there's just the one record. Alternatively, I can do a different type of a search. So if I instead do site, it is going to do a site search for me. So in this case, the name of the list or library um, is in not is not applicable, um, but we do need to um, still reference which field is going to be searched. So let's go ahead and try that, and we can see the difference in how that would work. So if I do that instead, I would go back to format, and I'll replace the code and save and you'll see um, it has a different result when I click the button. So this is actually doing a site search, in which case I actually have lots of Apple's projects and various lists and libraries in my site. So um, that's another type of search. Now what I might like to do is put in the word site search on the button. So um, you can change the wording however you want. Um, so on the button text right now it says search. I could change that to site search and that might help um, be more specific for the user so they know exactly what they're doing. And that's it. That's everything you need to know in order to use the SharePoint search button and SharePoint dashboards.com. And this template is part of a subscription. Uh, if you do not yet have access to this site, you can go here and get a free login, which has access to 21 templates. Um, and you can start by taking advantage of those and doing the new user training, and then you can go on and explore some of the other options uh, such as this one. Good luck.